It's electric, you know, there's no place like New York City. So it's electric and I'm excited. I'm finally, you know, ready to birth this baby. I think we all are. It's nerve wracking, but exciting at the same time. Mama is a mother. She's a, a different kind of mother though. What I know about mothers is we mother based on our environment and our circumstance. And so this mother is uh, loving her boys, but I think you don't quite know, is she, struggling with mental illness? Is she delusional? Is the evil real? We don't really know and that's sort of the beauty of mama's journey. I know that I fought really hard for these boys. That was really my big producerial role in this film was to get the cast right because it's me and just two young performers and so I went to bed and I fought really hard to not settle but to keep looking until we found the right boys. As a producer that was really important for me because I know if they're not right the success of the movie hinges on them and their performance so I, I fought hard to get the right boys. I think this is a world that we haven't seen before, outside of horror even. We haven't seen a family in the middle of nowhere living in a house uh, and having a decade of being sequestered in there. Like right there, that's a new premise that we've never seen. And I, for one, was excited to explore what that family would be like if that were in fact true. It's about family, it's about love, it's about fear, it's about passing along our traumas. You know, so I hope that there's good conversation. I hope they're wondering, like, what was going on with Mama? <laughs> like, who was she really? We had to make this movie. There was nobody to, better to play this part than her. It makes it so much better. I mean, horror is such an immersive experience where you really want to have other people around you. And the more intense it gets, the more you get to watch other people's reactions while you're reacting yourself. And it just kind of builds on itself. It compounds on itself. It builds that momentum that you don't get at home. So yeah, I'm thrilled. First of all, the first time I read the script, the power went out while I was reading it. <laughs> so I was like, this is a sign. This is definitely a sign that something scary is happening and that I need to pay attention to this movie. But um, it, it just kept me on the edge of my seat the whole time I was reading it. And I love this really dark and conflicted woman who was just trying to do the best that she could in very di dire circumstances. And I love the idea of Hallie being able to kind of war with those two sides of herself. Being a mother, protecting herself, trying to maintain her own sanity, and then just living in the woods with like very diminishing resources. So it was undeniable for me. We couldn't have done this movie without them. First of all, Percy is just this really kind of um, quiet, you know, contemplative young man who just embodies the character so deeply in his person. It's really remarkable to work with him and he takes it so seriously and has this kind of quiet confidence to him. And then Anthony is just this like burst of joy and elation and excitement at all times. And he doesn't get scared of anything and he just goes like full bore into everything he does. And they actually really were the perfect casting for the more acolyte child that um, Anthony plays in Samuel. And then the much more kind of dutiful but questioning child that uh, Percy plays. So yeah, we, we couldn't have done it without them. 
I'm very excited. This is my second red carpet. I'm so happy to be here. It's very, very exciting. Uh, I, I was kind of shaking when I first got out the car. I was like, all right, you, you done this before? You got to calm down? Come on, act professional. So. I'm very excited. I can't wait for everybody to see it. Just like AJ, I was very, very nervous. Um, but I know that we worked very hard for this moment, and I can't wait for everybody to see it. My character is Samuel. He's a very hardworking, loving, and truthful character, especially to Mama, because he wants to make sure that his entire family is safe from this evil. And Nolan, he's a very uh, quizzical person. He loves to get a better understanding of things. He's adventurous. And just like Samuel, he always wants to do what's best for the family, and he always, he's always there to protect them. Working with Miss Halley, very amazing. Top, like topless actor. Uh, she she taught me she taught me this. Like I walked up to her and I said, "Why'd you book me for this role?" And she said, uh, "It's because this uh, the specialty that you have, the superpower, it's your eyes and how I use it." And working with Percy too, it, it's amazing because like we we had we gained a bond very very quickly. Yeah, it was so great to work with Miss Halley, magnificent actress, magnificent person. Um, I was so happy to be able to part to be a part of this. I'm um, so very proud of what we've built together. Um, we immediately had a connection. Uh, me, Miss Hallie, and AJ, we're all very we're all very together. We built a very family family like relationship, and I'm very thankful. On set and off set, she is an amazing mama, no matter what, even to her children. Yes, she's like she's like a second mother to me. Um, she's very protective, um, just like in the movie. Um, but she doesn't put you in a cellar, which is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, she's really awesome. The audition process, it was like, it took like a month long. So, like, when we were doing it, like, like I got his phone number, like, the, the first day, I'd say. And, like we, we, like, we would play, like, we would play video games. I figured out a lot about him. Like, he, he's a little coding. He can make his own games. So, yeah. Yeah, we, you're right. It was an instant connection. Uh, we were together from the very start. Uh, I knew I was a part of the casting process. And I got to help decide who was with who was going to be be my brother, and immediately I knew AJ was my guy, and it was an instant connection. We hung out off on and off set. We were always together, and um, I'm glad to have him as a brother. It's amazing. It's such a long journey every time, but here this one is so special. It's so personal, and to work with Ali Berry was such a privilege. So. I'm so excited to show it tonight. An amazing script, a very scary one, and like an opportunity to walk with Ali, but also to make a movie that I think no one has really seen before. Like, you know, scary movie needs to be reinvented every time. And this one goes in places that I think is not usual. It took a long time for us to find them, but once we, you know, like saw the first audition of Percy who's playing Nolan, and Anthony was playing Samuel, it was so obvious. They were like, um, I mean, to walk with Ali is spectacular, but we knew that without those kids, without the quality of acting that we needed to be with her, it will be, you know, pointless. So we got, I think, I mean, like people are gonna see it them by themselves. They're like rising star. They're like the best, I mean, young actor I ever worked with. It's a dream come true. I always wanted to do a film that will premiere in New York City. There's no bigger place to do it than the Big Apple. Papa is... <laughs> he takes um, Holly's character through a lot. We don't really get to unfold it in the film, but um, it's something that is quite remarkable to watch and see their relationship unfold in the time that um, we have on screen together. Holly is so, so much of a force, and she's so present, so it makes the work easy, you know, and... Um, when I came, she hugged me and said, I didn't think you were going to come. I, I, I wanted to say, what do you mean? You're Halle Berry. But um, she respects my work and I respect hers. I was in there for like a day. So I didn't get a chance to see how she was on set. But um, I saw the love of her birthing something. You know, her, her production company. You know, this is her, you know, shot to the world. So people can see her in a different light as well as being an executive producer in her own company. So it was nice to come and play with her. It's not my job to tell them to take away from it. But... Um, I want them to enjoy it. Obviously, it's it's we love people watching you know films and, and cinema in any way, shape, or form. But it's incredible to be in the room, especially on with a horror film, and and hear you know everyone feel it uh, you know in this space together. It's a wonderful opportunity. You know, I love horror movies, and they're meant to be I think seen and experienced together in a theater. And this is also a movie that has very few characters and plays into themes of 
isolation and, and three people being alone in the woods. So getting to experience that and that specific story with a group of people is the best. We really connected to the, the script when we first came across it. It was really great writing, but it felt like it, it delivered on being a really great, effective genre film, but it also was talking about something else, something about that's going on in the world right now, whether it's objective truths or difference of opinion and people kind of being able to see past their differences. It felt like there was something more to it and we were always really drawn to that. Yeah, no, it, it was really on the page. It was something special. It was it was scary, but it also made us feel a lot and that's, that's the magic you look for on, on the page. This movie's definitely designed to in, start a conversation. Yeah. And I think we want people to see it and, and have a good time, but also come away talking about what they went through, what they think it meant. We, we, we have our thoughts on what it all means, but it, there's certainly layers to it that I think go with you more than I think a, a lot of genre films. We're looking for some conversations in the lobby. We're excited. <laughs> well, you know, it all kind of started with, uh, with an idea. You know, we, we, were, we had the idea of like, what if there was an evil entity outside your house that couldn't get you as long as you stayed in your house? Uh, and, you know, we wanted to tell a story about a family and, uh, you know, how far someone would go to protect their loved ones from, um, you know, the darkness of the world. And, and, you know, we wanted to kind of take a, a critical look at that and see how you can maybe go too far in trying to shelter your loved ones from the darkness. We love the idea, the conceptually, of, the, of, like, of an embassy, like a place where an evil force outside didn't have jurisdiction or, like, an outside force did, wouldn't be able to come inside, kind of like in an embassy, not that there's evil forces outside an embassy, but like this idea that, um, yeah, as long as you're inside, you're safe. It's, but it feels kind of arbitrary, like it's a rule, but it's not in our movie, it's not, well, that's the whole movie, is the, the, the whole ride of the movie is the mystery as to what's going on, but. We got so excited when we found out Halle was coming on board. I mean, we knew that, you know, someone like Halle Berry can really easily coast on her charm and her beauty, but you know, you look at her filmography and her career, and she's somebody who, continuously takes risks uh, and you know she's not afraid to get a little down and dirty and that's what we needed with mama we needed yeah, somebody yeah. who was fierce yeah. uh, and complex uh, but somebody that you know the audience could could root for and get behind yeah and she has such a maternal kind of vibe as well yeah. that is perfect yeah yeah oh no it was uh yeah these actors brought the characters to life in a really surprising way but in a in, a, in a, an amazingly surprising way yeah We've written um, uh, our first movie. We had kids as well, and we, we, we do we love writing for kids. Like it's there's, but it's always like uh, man, a it, in it's a danger. Yeah, it's a big risk. It makes or breaks the movie. When they're when they're not good, it's like you know not yeah. great. But when they are good, it's so good. You know. Well, we want them to go on a, have a have a ride, hopefully, and uh, uh, I don't know. I want more, more curious to hear what, what they what they take away from it. You know. Yeah. They, yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I hope they have a good time. And yeah. Yeah. Hopefully they have something to talk about when they leave yeah, the Yeah, well, I, I hope there's some like um, some kind of, you know, maybe some uh, s kind of conceptual questions that people are kind of trying to dissect after, you know, which, yeah. is, which is fun for us. We love the ambiguity and I don't know, uh, yeah, 